So uh, from uh, inside the machine, actually, this is uh, a virtual machine that we installed last class. Well, in the class before, I, believe, uh, I remember the, SQL, the Microsoft server. No updates. Usually, if you ask me why I uh, sh suddenly close, I'm going to choose power failure, whatever. Manage, I do not need for now. Uh, here, actually, it is installed. SMS. Sorry. SMS. It's not installed. Zero, zero, zero. Nothing is there. Nothing is there. So, I have to download it. To do so, to do so, start menu. And I have uh, the unique browser I have it here is the Internet Explorer. I'm inside the virtual machine. Remember, I'm inside the virtual machine. Uh, let me change the resolution even. Good. So uh, I'm gonna uh, use the Internet Explorer, the, the edge I have, actually, Internet Explorer, sorry. Uh, Moodle. Uniswa. Admit. Admit the uh, security. Uniswa model. Okay. Security alerts. Yes, alert. What is this? Dashboard. I'm gonna go. Yes, because of the resolution, no. Credentials. Entered wrongly. Entered wrongly, sorry. Huh. Great. I mean, mm, I need the software portal. I'm inside the virtual machine, so I need to download it. No more, no less. I need to download it. I'm inside the universe of news, actually. I can uh, use the local network, but uh, for you at home, sorry, we have to refer to the, uh, come on. SQL server. I would have uh, two options, SQL. Did I type something else? No, that was found. I typed wrongly. Still, still, I'm not able to get it. I'm missing the words or what? I don't know. Actually, I'm going to search it manually. So I have 10 pages only, so it's easy to grab it. Yes, here it is. SQL Server. Actually, the express edition we have is the free one. But we can download it. I'll see if it's getting downloaded or not. Because of this message only, because of this message only, uh, I'm, uh, I'm showing you these steps how to uh, download it. Actually, this miss, I'm inside a virtual machine, Moodle. Uh, my credentials, they are correct, and I'm very fine, and I reached the, the destination itself. But he's saying that the download cannot be done because of the security settings of this browser. This browser is not allowing me, the uh, Internet Explorer is not allowing me to download this file, this, um, say, uh, saying this is uh, SQL Express. If I try, if I try to right click it, save the target, I see the other option. To follow the role, it's not giving anything, it's not giving anything actually to avoid any issues. Because remember, this is an internet explorer and it can be easily controlled within the domain here uh, from the universe of the provider of this SQL Express. I'll try to download, I'll leave this one off. I'll try to download the uh, Chrome, for example, of Firefox. Mm, let's say Chrome. Download, switch to Microsoft, switch to browser. The browser Microsoft. No, Chrome. Download. This is the one. 
ok, confirme. Download. So all the uh, I'm, I'm mimicking the real uh, situations that you are as a student you are uh, facing at home. So the same thing actually I'm doing. He's not doing any download. See, he's not doing uh, a, a, any download uh, because of this. Actually, because of this, uh, what I'm going to do actually I'm going to share it internally from my uh, email or something, and I'm I'm going to download even 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 uh, the download from the email. Actually, I believe that would be. Uh, uh, forbidden to Gmail. Right. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I'm um, accessing my account. I see. It's correct. It's correct. The one. Um. EQU is a ULN. Okay, no, it is wrong. MPSY. Barely see it. Yes, why? Double L. IPPE. Password, great. Script. You need the made on mobile phone similar to device click here. Regardless, so uh, even <coughs> even the uh, the uh, email it will not allow me to download. Later on, uh, we discuss this problem here. We discuss this problem here. For now, let's come back to the same uh, topic, to the uh, main topic of our class. I'll minimize this uh, virtual machine. Uh, the guide actually, I'm going to share with you the question in order to explain it before we do any. Right, window. Great. Uh, we are actually required to manipulate a new database that we are going to create. We are going to generate two entities inside. The two entities we are going to utilize to generate an analysis, to make an uh, sort of an audit and analysis, mathematical operations we are going to apply for certain, certain results we are willing to get. Clearly discussed here. Create a regression analysis to see the student's performance during the past studies and the expected student results in the coming semester. So uh, it is a context of the lead and the lag, both. We are going to utilize both of them. We saw them this morning, no, isn't it? We have actually the two entities the lead, we know the syntax, and the lag, we know the syntax. We just apply. Uh, yes, let's get started. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. Not in the virtual machine, but not in the virtual machine, but inside the normal computer using this normal SQL server. Uh, yes, window. Here it is. Great. You do not need this one. Leave this one apart. SMS. I'm going to log in as an administrator, SA. I'm going to log as user one. I'm going to log as user one. I don't remember actually if it was with U capital or not. Oh, so it's wrong, he's saying. Login for this one by yourself. Yes, your capital and the password I remember. Good. I'm going to create the, a new database he's asking us. Let me come back to the question.
create and view, so analyze the express um, and expect secure data and information. Uh, <clears throat> so meanwhile, actually, I'm not going to create a new database. So since uh, he's not mentioning to me, we have already created last week one database named STDDB. We'll utilize the same. Sorry, uh, it's stuck. I'm going to re-log uh, in again. Yes, so I'm going to utilize the same database we created last week, which is the SDDB. Uh, to create what? The two entities he's asking us. The first entity is major. I'm going to copy paste here in front of you. Later on, no, I cannot copy because I'm externally from the virtual machine. So um, I'm going to read it for you. So major and the GPA is the first entity, major and GPA. What I'm going to do, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to use the query builder to do the thing actually for your learning purposes only. I can do that actually manually, right click, add new table, but for your learning purposes only, uh, I'm going to make right in capital. Create table, he's saying major and GPA. Uh, starts with MGP, MGID, it's an int, then major vacha, semester vacha, GPA vacha. Major vacha, I'm going to give 50 as size, close, comma, then uh, semester. Uh, it's also a vacha. I'm going to give a size. And then after uh, GPA is saying vacha also, I'm going to give uh, five, for example, or let's give seven to five. Yes, that's great. Then the last STD ID is a foreign key, this one. STD ID is a foreign key then. STD ID, it's an int, absolutely. Close, that's it. I have no entity named major and GPA here on the tables, so I click refresh. Nothing is there. Let me just highlight and execute. So come on, execute. One uh, command has been successfully finished. Refresh again. Yes, here it is. Columns. They are as we uh, stated here. Second uh, entity, second entity, he's saying STD profiles. It holds the STD ID as a primary key. And it holds the student name, student contact. Let's start. Second entity. Create, he's saying, table uh, STD. Profile STD ID is the same we declared earlier, it's an int, and then after STD name, I'm going to declare as well. Cha give the size 50. What else? Uh, STD contact, STD email. As you watch, as the contact, as the email, I'm going to say email. Also, no, it's uh, it's watch. I'm going to give 50 as size. What else? The bus, this is the email. This is the, the last one. That's it. That's all. There's no comma here. The last, there is no comma at the end. There is no comma at the end. We finish. Select and execute. Successfully completed. Okay, just uh, refresh again. I'm going to minimize, refresh. STD profile, here it is. Here it is. Mm, check the architecture. Yes, in watcha, watcha, watcha. STD name, contact, email. Great. 
No spaces. I'm not using spaces in the names. I'm not using spaces in the names. Remember, this is the rule. Let's start with the first task actually to make you understand uh, clearly and another later on even you can uh, you can uh, clearly understand the theory part of what we explained the theory uh, I'm going to select everything from from the table here this this one and then, and then after this one let's say this entity here I'm going to start by extracting everything without any constraints so select star it's uh, from what say the table name as profile std I made an, a typo mistake here. I have to respect now. I have to respect the same name. SD. SC it appeared. SD semicolon no need. Select. Execute. Execute. This is the architecture, but it's empty. This is the architecture. Class yes correct, but it's empty. Good. I'm gonna do the same thing for the second jadwell uh, major GPA. So select also star from major here it appeared yes highlight execute yes it has been modified here it is everything is a major id uh, mg actually uh, major gpa id major and so on empty it's empty also <coughs> nothing is there great so to make the thing actually more understandable insert into so into uh, the first table, which is STAID. Uh, I'm going to say values. Between in quotations, starting with the first one, what is it? I'm going to execute. The first one is STD ID. I'm going to give, it's an int. I'm going to give one. Uh, then, line. That's the name. Single quotation, I'm going to say Murad. Single quotation close. STD contact. I'm gonna say it's a varchar. I'm given. I'm given. So contact. I'm gonna say uh, nine eight seven two one. Okay, great. Uh, then the last STD email. It's a varchar. Also, I'm gonna say Murad at Murad dot com. Close. Highlight. Execute. Row affected. What? inserted something to this STD uh, profile. Let's select and execute. Yes, here it is. It's there. It's there. I'm going to insert second row. I'm going to insert second row. So I'm going to copy and after paste, I'm going to modify the content. ID would be the second. This is the second for the same entity. Name, I'm going to say any name. Uh, Muhammad. Um, contact, I'm going to say 778899. It's enough. Oh, so 5544. Here I'm going to say Muhammad. Muhammad at Muhammad.com. Great. Highlight. Come on now. Highlight. Execute. Affected. Yes, everything happened correctly and perfectly. So I'm going to select. Check if there are two records now in the same entity. Yes, they are two. Murad and Hamid, both of them. Great. I'm going to do the same thing for this major. I'm going to do the same thing actually for the, this major. Insert uh, into major, actually the name of the entity here, it appeared. Immediately values. I'm not specifying actually the uh, columns fields. Why? Because uh, I'm, uh, filling, I'm filling all the fields, all the uh, columns. So ID is an int. I'm given one for this uh, new entity. The second field for this one, what is it? Execute. The second field is major. The, the third is semester, then GPA, then and so on. Uh, so major here, I'm going to give it's a, it's a vacha. I'm going to give it in between two single quotations. Uh, major, I'm going to say uh, cyber security. Good cyber sec. Uh, third field is uh, semester. I'm going to say uh, fall. 2020. I can use space. There is no harm because it's in between quotations. Third and fourth here, fourth uh, GPA. I'm going. It's a varchar also given. I'm going to say 3.75. Then the last SDID 
It's an int, this one. It's an int. So I'm going to give one. STD ID is a foreign key here. It's the same as the STD ID and the student profile jadwal. Let's execute. I have an error, near value here because we have, we have it's, it's, what, is the what is the error here? It's a typo. So let's execute again. Yes, row affected. Uh, refresh the major here. I'm going to. Well, there is no refresh. I'm going to just select and yes, here it is. Here it is. The second, I'm going to insert second one. I'm going to modify the values. It's an IS as a major. Uh, it's 421. Yes, okay, let it be 2.9. And the student is 2. Let me execute. Yes, affected. Let me select now and check if I have two records. Execute. Yes, they are two. CyberSec and IS for 20, for 20. Student ID 1 and student ID 2. There is a mistake here. There is a mistake here. There is a mistake here. I given two the same, the both the students, I given them the same ID. No, I have to modify this ID to be two. What I'm going to do, I'm going to, make an update query so so update what update uh, update update which table is major major here it is set set what the colon uh, mg id mg here it is set mg id equals to where where the student id equal to where the std id here I'm going to say where std id, here it appears, equals to. Let me execute now. Affected. Let me check again. Let me check again. Yes, here it is. One, two. Now, one, two. It has been changed to two. Where the student id equal to two. Yes, it is true. That's great. That's great. That's great. Now, let's uh, dig in now our analysis and our mathematical function, which is the, the, the actually we are going to implement two, which are the lead and the lag, the lead and the lag. All of what we did so far, actually, it's a practice only. It's not uh, it's not something new, but we are doing the thing actually in the practice. You are not uh, you have to actually to uh, know all those details clearly and clearly. With a, with a persistency and with a complete insistency. I'm insistent on that, insistent on that. Uh, so the task is asking us to uh, create a, a regressive analysis to see the student's performance during the past studies and the expected student's results in the current semester. Let's start with the past studies, past studies. Yes, what does mean? Let me come back, reconnect again, I'm sorry. Uh, the past study, what does it mean? He's, uh, for example, um, what do we have in the other student profile? Here, this is the major, and the student profile, what do we have? Can we have something to compare? Uh, Mora, GPA, this is the contact. No, we compare the GPAs. We compare the GPAs, no more, no less. So we use the major and GPA entity. To create a lag study, we compare these GPAs whom uh, this student, this actually this uh, semester what he got, next semester what he got, and so on. Suppose that he's the same student, but he's not the same student. So I'm going to modify this thing, this two here, I'm going to modify this two to be one. I'm going to modify this one to make the student be the same. He's the same student. And the semester, I'm going to change it to uh, spring 19. Let me do the thing and you'll understand what I'm doing. So I'm going to update. Update what uh, STD 
CD major, I'm gonna add major. Uh, set set uh, std id std id equals one where where what the uh, mg id equals to two equals two student number two we are going to update his uh, the uh, contact student is one done now i'm gonna select again execute yes one here it is so one one is the same student now I'm going to modify his semester also, the student and the second record. It is, uh, I'm going to modify the first. The first is spring and the second is uh, fall. I'm going to modify this spring uh, 19. So where the, where, the, where the MG ID is one, I'm going to modify this semester. So I'm going to copy, it's the same here, copy. Where the MG ID equal one first, because it's the first record. MGID equal one and the semester, not the SCID. It's the, I'm going to change the semester. The semester. So semester here it appears equals bar chart. So I'm between single quotations. I'm going to say spring 2019. Let me execute. Let me execute. Successful. Okay. Let me explore again. Execute. Here it is, spring 19 and fall 20. Yes, the same student. Great, now we can do our analysis. Now we can do our analysis because before we have two different students. We cannot compare two different students. We can compare them at the same semester, but not in different semesters, not in different units. So to different semesters, the, the progress of a student. Now we can do our analysis. Let's dig in. Let me read the question again. Let me read the question again. So we need to create actually a, 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 a lag function, yes, to read the previous, the previous performance of the student during the past studies. Okay, good. Uh, let's do that. Actually, um, I'm gonna immediately just select, select. I'm gonna say star from uh, from major, yes, from major here. Everything will be displayed to me. It's the same. It's the same. But we need actually a specific output. We need specific representation. See, I'm going to represent this star. I'm going to represent this star. We change the star with what is the, uh, the, uh, stu the student, let's say, ID. I'm going to say MG ID. Okay. Comma. What else? Uh, I'm going to say major. Major, okay, it's okay. Let's display it. Uh, also, we can extract the uh, the GPA. GP, here it is. Okay, the last, the last here. I'm gonna create a new one, which is the lag. The lag we uh, we saw this morning. Uh, as as for example, I'm gonna say uh, previous previous underscore studies. No space. This is the header. This is the header of the fourth column. This is what we are going to do, where we are going to do the analysis. So the log result would be displayed in a column headed previous studies. What would be the content of the log here? What we are going to check? The GPA. So I'm going to write GPA here. GPA. And the, the, uh, the, uh, the offset of the GPA, uh, sorry, of this log on the uh, GPA is one, I'm going to use one, one, just one step, next, last semester, no more, no less. Uh, without any constraint, because we have to check for a, a specific student, not, every, not everybody. I'm going to select for now, for now, and then later on, we we'll do it for a specific student. Execute, I have an error. Uh, must have an over, yes, exactly, exactly. Um, over, I'm going to say over. Uh, over, I'm going to just make an order, order by here only. So that also, we saw that this morning, order by, it has to have an order, um, an over clause. Uh, ordered by what? Ordered by what? Ordered by what? I'm going to say uh, uh, MGID, ordered by, uh, by MGID, or by semester. We did not display semester here, so I'm going to order by MGID, order by uh, 30. Um, um, numerical uh, ordering, M G I D. Great. 
let's execute again. Go back. Yes, here we have. The first one is null. The first one is null. Why? Because we cannot compare the first semester with something nothing. No, nothing before the one. This is the first. There is nothing before. So it's null. Nothing. This is the, the startup. And the second semester, he is getting 2.9, but the previous semester, the previous semester, what he got? He got the previous semester, this is the one, the two. The previous is the one. What he got? 375. This is the 375. Very great. Let's insert the third record. Let's insert the third record for this same student, for the same student here, for the uh, major, but for the same student one. Let's insert a, a third record for a different semester. Control C, Control V. The same student one. No, not here, not here. Not here. It needs to be here. And because we are dealing with the uh, LCD major GPA. Which one is holding the... I, 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 I mixed. Yeah, the GPA is in the major, in the major entity. The major here, we are stating the GPAs. So I'm going to insert a new record in the major GPA only. Where it is, major GPA only. Good. Here. Great. Third record here, third record, number three. Record number three, number three. The same student, um, let's say he's also IS, but previous semester, I'm going to say fall 19 now. Fall 19. Fall 19. He got, for example, 2.7, or let's say 3.1. Let's modify, 3.1. Uh, the same student, he's number one. His ID is number one. So this one, if we, we changed this one, if you remember, we did the update. We did the update. We did the update. We did the update. So this is what I'm going to execute. Let's execute. Great. Now let's display only to check the three records. Yes, they are three for the same student. Number one, number one, number one. Uh, fall 19, fall 20, spring 19. Let's do the lag. Let's check our analysis. Execute. Yes. The first one, null, cannot compare with the previous, which is empty. The second semester, he got 2.9, but we compared with the previous semester, which is the number one, 3.75. This is it. Third semester, he got 3.1. Actually, we compared with the previous one, which is the three, the, the two, sorry, 2.9, and here it is. So our process works very fine. The order here, the order here is done by the MGID the um, uh, major uh, GPA ID. Because of this, actually, we are seeing this is actually in spring, this is in fall 19. It's very old. Fall 19. It's very old than this one. So this is this one is previous. But here it is displaying to me, it's at the last. So because our order, we made it here, we made it here to be based on the MG ID, not the date, not the semester. It's very fine. <clears throat> See what I'm going to do now. It will give us actually something not clear now, not coherent. I'm going to insert a record for student number three. We do not have student number three, but I'm going to create student number three. So let me create student number three. So I'm going to give the name here, uh, student number three first, student number three, student profile here. I'm creating a new profile for the student number three. I'm going to give it the name Fatma. Okay, uh, contact I'm gonna give uh, uh, 252, whatever, any, any contact. I'm gonna say Fatma, yes, I missed the A uh, intentionally, Fatma.com. Let me execute. Student number three, execute, done. Let me select and check what this student profile now holds. Select, execute, yes, it holds three, Murad, Muhammad, and Fatma. Let me check the resolution actually of this. Uh, oh my god! I changed to seven twenty now. Great. 
so uh, three students, three different uh, different um, IDs. Let me come back now and execute the same analysis we did here. I'm going to execute. One, two, three. Here the GPA actually, uh, because actually our, our, uh, our jedwell, our uh, entity, a uh, major GPA, only holds the values of the, f the first student only, does not have any records for the student number two or three. Record on, no records for one and two and three. I'm gonna insert a record for the student number three, for example, the Fatma. I'm gonna insert a record in the major for the student number three. Here, the student is number three, here, number three. The record is number four. And that uh, IS, I'm gonna say for the same for 19, let's say GPA 3.3. Let's execute. Let's execute. Good. Now let's execute our lag, our analysis. Number four is here. It is included in the analysis. No. We cannot compare Fatma to Muhammad. We cannot compare Fatma to any other students, Murad or Muhammad. We cannot. She she does not have to appear here. 3.3. It's for Fatma. It is 3.3. It's for Fatma. 3.3 for the student number 3, which is Fatma. So we cannot compare Fatma to Muhammad in two different semesters. One in spring, one in fall. Cannot happen. Thus, thus. We are going to add in this block the work loss where sorry. Yes. Where what STD ID STD ID here it appears equals for example one. I need only the student number one. I'm gonna only select uh, do the thing for the student number one. Yes, works very fine. Student number two only, we need the analysis for the student number two now. I have, for the student number one, we have three records. It is correct. Student number two, we do not have any record. Empty, absolutely true. For student number three, which is Fatma, we have only one record. Yes, one record. It works very fine now. Perfect, it is perfect. What I'm gonna do now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, answer the second part, the second portion, which is, which is the next or the future actually uh, student uh, results, expected results, yes, expected student results in the coming semester. We're not going to do it for the lag, we're going to do it now for the lead. The same process, I'm going to do it, but for the lead. Good. So I'm going to create a new select. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, no stuff. I'm gonna just type it manually. The MGID, MGID, select MGID. Great uh, student. I'm gonna say may. I'm gonna say major. Uh, major. Uh, no, major. I said major. Major. See, he's not showing me columns. Why? Because. I have to specify which entity I'm going to just say from. Uh, from what, which entity I'm going to say major. Okay, good. Now, yes, it, 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 خلاص, the underline has disappeared. And now I will get, I'm going to specify the semester. I'm going to specify the semester for order, for order purposes, for ordering purposes. Uh, and GPA. GPA. Then the lead. Then we are going to create our lead method. Over what here? Order by as I'm gonna say uh, next expected expected. I'm gonna say I'm gonna use it's a header. It's a header expected results. Good. Lead what? It's the GPA. So I'm gonna write here GPA. Uh, GPA offset. It's one semester, one. Over what? Over the semester. Over the semester. I'm gonna say order, sorry. Order, order by. I'm gonna say semester, order by semester, clear. Let me execute. 
Let me execute. Four students. We have four students. The order is by semester. Fall 19. Fall 19. Fall 20. Spring 20. Spring, spring 19, sorry. So uh, the order is not perfectly set. But even though we are selecting uh, major GPA, major than semester than GPA, and here is the expected expected results. It's correct. Three, two point nine, three point seven, null. The spelling of semester is correct. Order by semester. Let's do the thing actually student-wise. Let's do the thing actually because I tried to understand why uh, the uh, spring uh, fall is appearing on the uh, on the last. It's a different semester. <coughs> it's a different major. Sorry. So I'm going to refer to uh, create the clause where what where the student ID STD uh, ID STD ID here it appears. Equals, for example, I'm going to say the first student, one. We'll do for the first student only. Execute. Three records only. Perfect. Uh, fall, 19. Fall, 20. Spring, 19. Still, uh, the order is, uh, yes, order. ASC, I'm going to say. So, yes. I was uh, interrogating why it's not ordered. I'm going to do it ascending mode. Execute. Fall 19, fall 20, spring semester one. Yeah, absolutely, because it is uh, actually uh, alphabetically set. He's not reading the uh, numbers. He's not reading the numbers. He's reading al F is before S, so alphabetically ordered. Absolutely correct. Uh, if I change it to DSC descendant, so it would uh, set it would set the, uh, the the spring first. It is spring first. At the end of the day, see what I'm doing. So, executes very fine. Student number two, no records. Yes, it's empty. It works very fine. Student number three, we have only one record. Yes, it works very fine. It works very fine. I'll stop at this level because actually I, I'm expecting the Google is, is recording our video with low resolution. And I'm gonna re-start uh, the uh, the registration with a higher resolution. Just start this one for now, and I continue. <laughs> 